Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Covered, I am Penge, and welcome to Melodramatica, which is a game where we manage a theatre back in the Victorian era, and we've got to put on shows because of course we're a theatre, that's what we do, so we'll be choosing actors and sorting their costumes and dressing the stage and trying our best to put on a jolly good show, all whilst trying to keep those pesky actors happy and deal with all their conflicts and acting strops and all that kind of stuff, which just sounds marvellous, it sounds really really good, it's a very interesting sort of unique idea for a game. It also looks fantastic. It has this very distinctive art style. It's sort of like a 3D hand-drawn art print style. It's very hard to describe, but it looks very nice. We'll see it when we dive into the game. Also, just before we begin, this game was made by a team of students in 28 or so weeks, which is quite frankly incredible. 28 weeks to make an entire game is quite the achievement, so a huge big well done to them. And also, it's free. It's on Steam for entirely no cost at all. Free is always the best price. So there is a link to the Steam store page in the video description below if you want to go and have a go yourself then you can do so. Anyway, enough dilly-dallying, to the theatre! And so we begin with Act 1, because where else would we start? For most of her life, Josephine has seemingly had everything one could want. An advantageous education, well-to-do family, secure prospects. All she needed to complete the idyllic scene was a husband. Instead, she got a theatre. Okay, a slight change there, but okay. Bequeathed to her from her great aunt Orby, the theatre needed a manager, and Josephine craved something to shake her out of her mundane day to day. Unfortunately, all that remains of the business are the building and two up and coming actors, so now it's up to her to reignite the passion that once burned on the stage. Okay, that sounds very exciting. And then Act 1. So it says complete one or more of the following Robert's Big Break complete the show with Robert in the hero role, and we have a reward of 50 for that. I don't quite know what the reward is. 50 points, 50 money, I don't know. Thomas's big break, complete the show with Thomas in the hero role, reward 50. Okay, so we've got competing actors who both want to be the hero, and then a captivating opening, complete your first show with at least three stars, reward 100 reward points, whatever they might be. Okay, that's interesting. So we could try and get two of these, but I don't think it's possible to have all three because you can't have both Robert and Thomas in the hero role. That's not going to work. Okay, right, well, let's see what happens now then. Dear Josephine, welcome to your new home. I'm sure you have questions. Allow me to explain. If you feel like you do not need help, you can turn my advice off in the options menu. No, no, we need all the help we can get. Give us all the help, please. Your main priority is to train your actors. Find Robert or Thomas and tell them what to do. Okie doke, we will do just that. But look at that, here we go. So this is what the game looks like, and it looks marvellous. It looks very nice indeed. Oh crikey, hang on a minute. I was talking about how lovely it looks, game. Okay, tell them what to focus on, and they will do it. If they have a preference, they will let you know. Okay, however, it is worth remembering that one works harder if they like their assignment. Okay, right, so we have to talk to these people here, they're wandering about over there, and tell them what to do. But I mean, look at this. Look at the way the game looks. It looks amazing. It looks really, really nice. It's very distinctive indeed. And the edges kind of sort of fade in and out. They've got kind of this sort of sort of fuzzy kind of edge to it. It looks really nice. It is very, very pretty to look at. Right, let's go and find these people. Right, there is a map up there. There is a map over there. So I assume this is all backstage stuff, is it? This is all backstage. Hang on. Right, let's try and find our way over to, to those two. There's Robert, who's wandering. And there is Thomas, who's wandering. Um... Can we go this way? Are we allowed down here? I assume we are. Who are we going to bump into first? Okay, Thomas. Are we on the stage? I think... Ah, yes. This is the stage. This is the actual stage. Oh, hang on a minute. He's wandered off. Right, hang on. We'll go and talk to the chap because he's nearby. There we go. There's Robert. Robert, hang on. Hang on. Hold your horses a second, Robert. Let's have a chat with you. There we go. Right. In your playbook on the top right, you will find the requirements of each show. Before assigning an actor, you will need to understand what they are aiming for are. What they are aiming for are. What they are aiming for, I think it's supposed to say. Okay, so what do they want to achieve? Open your playbook now by clicking the red arrow button. Okay, right. So the play that we're going to put on is called A Quarrel With Oneself. That sounds fun. Each role has different requirements, and so you will need to keep this in mind when training your actors. Okie doke. In the playbook, you can make a note of which actors you want to perform in which role. Use the arrows to assign them. Okay, will do. So a quarrel with oneself, difficulty easy, a genre is a well-made play, a man struggles with the good and evil within himself. Is he the monster he becomes, or the saint he returns to? Oh, so it's about someone dealing with their kind of inner struggles. Okay, that's exciting, and it needs several things actually. It needs a hero, and it needs a villain. Of course it does. So the hero needs to be good at singing and acting, and they need to dress like a hero, and then the villain needs to be good at singing and dancing, 
and they need to dress like a villain. However a villain dresses, I don't know. And currently nobody assigned to these. Right, I see what we've got to do here. We've got to pick Robert or Thomas to be the hero, and then the other one is going to be the villain. Okay, right, so Robert here, in a lovely fetching blue sort of uh, suit there, is saying, I'd like to talk a moment, if I may, about the current state. Yeah, okay, tell me, what is on your mind? My brother and I have both pursued acting, of course, but that doesn't mean we wish to follow each other's tread. This is no rudeness to all my brother, of course, but I trust that you will assist us both without mirroring our training. Oh, a Robert and Thomas brothers. Ah, okay, right. So he's saying essentially that, yes, okay, we're both actors, but we both don't want to do the same things all the time. Can you please treat us as individuals? Yeah, okay, that's fine. We can do that. Right. Is there more I ought to do? So I have work for you. Tell me about yourself or no. Um, okay, tell me about yourself. I can be honest here, yes? It's a peculiar poncho, having spent my boyhood in England, but I can't stand t- <clears throat> Robert. Robert, what are you saying? Robert, Robert, right, okay, Robert's the villain, everybody. <laughs> Robert's been cast as the villain, here we go. I mean, can there be anybody more villainous? An English person who can't stand tea. Oh my goodness me, I'm gonna have to go and have a sit down. Uh, no substance to it. Frankly, it's a relief even to admit such a thing out loud. I mean, I can't fire you, Robert, but if I if I could, I would. Um, right, that's outrageous, Robert. I'm afraid I've lost all respect for you. Um, I have work for you as a villain, Robert, simply for that comment there. So singing and dancing, I have work for you. What would you like me to practice today? Um, so seek some improvement in your singing work. You must focus on dancing. Take some time to strengthen your stage persona, practice the act. You're needed behind the scenes or I can't think of anything. I mean, if he's going to become the villain, why don't we get him doing some dancing? You must focus on your dancing for a while. I don't know if he likes dancing, but we'll get him to do some dancing. After you tell an actor what to do, they will make their way to the appropriate room to hone their skills. With this one now practicing, find his brother and instruct him in the same manner. It looks like his brother is lurking just behind us over there. As you wish, that will be my work today. Okay, right, that's good. So now we head over this way and there's Thomas. Hello, Thomas. If you tell us you don't like tea, I'm afraid we're just going to shut the theatre and not open ever. Right. Hello, Miss Sigrist. I have some conclusions about the present moment that I imagine you'll find important. Okay, right. Let's have a little chat. I have no qualms with my brother, certainly, but I aspire to stand on singular merit in time. There is not as much worth in being one half of a matching set. I hope you can understand and allow us both to develop our skills without such constraints. Okay, yeah, your brother sort of express the same concerns, basically saying, look, treat us as individuals. Don't sort of get us doing the same stuff all the time. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Uh, one of your actors ran into a problem. Go find them and fix it. Hang on, I'm having a chat. Wait there. Um, okay, right. Can we have a chat? Hang on, hang on, go away. Right, talk to Thomas. Um, oh no, hang on, yeah, we're of the same mind. That devoir is a good match for you. Frankly, I'd rather you sharpen your footwork, work on your dance, um, you were too late to help. Oh, I was I was having a chat. <laughs> I didn't realise I had to go and help immediately. This will have a negative consequence on their training. Try to stay alert next time so this does not happen again. Uh, well, I didn't realise there was a time limit on it, but okay, fine. Right, next time we'll try and help. Um, okay, so Thomas hit. Goodness me. Practising takes energy. All actors can perform two actions daily. These points are displayed in the actor profile as AP. Where is the actor profile? Okie doke. Um, one of the brothers just finished practice. He needs to point, uh, be pointed toward his second task. Do that now. I'm still talking to the first brother game. Hang on a second. Right. Okay. Um, so we can't just have a chat with you. So we can't find out if you like tea or not. But um, singing and acting. Um, yes, here we go. Practice your acting. Yeah, practice your act instead. Yeah, go for that, please. Really? I thought I had already proven my proficiency. Okay. Right, so now, is this the actor profile? Ah, there we go. Right, so Robert is wandering. He's very good at dancing, not so good at acting. And he's okay at singing. And then Thomas is dancing seven, singing four, acting five. Okay, right, so Thomas, yeah, we're not so bothered about Thomas's dancing, although he is quite good at it. But then Robert... Mr. Mr. I don't like tea, get out of my theatre, uh, is very good at dancing. Okay, right, so now let's go and find him again. Let's move that out of the way. Right, oh, hang on, can we move that out of the way? Yeah, yeah there we go. Right, hello, Robert. Um, I'd prefer to sing, if at all possible. Um, villain, singing. Yes, absolutely, yeah. I'd prefer to sing, absolutely, Robert, go and have a sing. You can be a singing villain. There we go. Right, so move that back out of the way. And then... 
let's just follow everyone over here just to make sure that if they do get into a, a spot of bother like they did previously, then maybe we can help them out. Um, hello there. Collect bust or talk to Thomas. Oh, we can pick things up. Oh, okay. Do we need to do that? Okay, well, I've done it now anyway. That's nice. Um, Thomas, how are you? I can still assist you if you require. Ah, tell me about yourself. I must admit every task I undertake has been well enjoyable. I've always cherished my... Na Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. That's very really nice. But I need to go and help thingamajig wherever they... Mu Where are they? They're not on the map anymore. <laughs> can we run? Ah, we can run. I think they went over here. Ah, there we go. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Crikey's. Your job as a manager is to listen to your troop and help them solve their issues. You don't get very long, do you? Oh my goodness me. Each actor is different and will respond to a solution in another manner. It appears I have misplaced my script. How will I continue with my lines? A pity you lost it, but you can busy yourself with more humble tasks. Perhaps the two of us looking together would have more success. Or I believe my quarters holds another copy. Would you like me to fetch it? Well, let's look for it together. I'm not his slave. We'll look for it together. Absolutely. Um, I appreciate your explicit direction. I'll begin immediately. Okay. So do we need to go and find his script? Is that what we're supposed to go and do? Four, three. Good grief. <laughs> um, wow. Okay. That that was quite quick. Was that the time? Was that the time that we had to go and find his script? When an actor who has used all of their action points of the day, they will go to the break room and relax. Feel free to mingle and get to know them while there, but understand that they will be too tired for more work. Okay, is this the break room? I'm not entirely sure, so I can't seem to move. Okay, we'll talk to Robert. Um, okay, singing, you can't do anything else, right? I can't think of anything right now. Okay, let's head out of here. Right, so farewell, Robert. Away with you. Don't like you so much, Robert. Right, now we can give... Hang on, hang on, hang on. Where's Thomas? Thomas, hello. Um, we can give you something else to do. We can give you something else to do. Which one are you? There's that one there. Right. So, Thomas, if you're going to be our hero, singing and acting, you need to improve your singing. I have work for you. Um, seek some improvement in your singing work today. Yeah, because you've got singing of four. So let's try and get that better. There you go. By all means, I will concentrate on that for now. Now, I imagine what's going to happen is he's going to need some help. So let's go up here. And he's... Sing oh, that's how long he's taking to sing. That's how long he's taking to do his singing practice. We'll just watch. Absolutely. We'll just watch him do his singing and see what happens. Oh, a little kind of bow at the end there. Very nice indeed. Okay. There we go. So you're done. With both of them out of energy, because, you know, they've done 30 seconds of work today. They must be so exhausted. Uh, you might as well call it a day here. You can end the day at the blue door near your office. Do I have an office? Where's my office? <laughs> um, okay, right. Hang on. Let's go and look for a blue door. Is it over here? Actually, there was a... There was a wasn't there a blue door? Um, oh, no. I th maybe I've seen that. Maybe I've seen those tables there. Um, okay, right. There must be a blue door somewhere around the place. I just don't quite know where it is. Do I have an office? There's a blue notice board. Perform spectacle. I don't think I should do that yet. The game hasn't told us what that is. Um... Okay, let's see if I can find my office. I'm not entirely sure where that is. Hang on, let's just wander about the place for a bit. I have found the blue door. I can tell I found it because it's a door and it's blue. There it is. Right, okay, so end the day. Absolutely. Shall you retire for the day? Yes, please. Okay, so the show is tonight. Oh, crikey. Okay, right, I'm sure this is fine. So March the 2nd, 1885, we have ourselves a show tonight. Okay. So we want, let's just actually get this set now. Um, no, not Robert, not Robert. We want Thomas, don't we? Making a note in your playbook is not final. You can always pen in another before the show starts. Once you have all of this information, assign the lad to his task. Okay, right, hang on a minute. So we want Thomas to be the hero and we want Robert to be the villain. Okay, right, so now we want Robert to improve his, hang on, so villain skills, dancing. Right, let's go and find Robert. And tell him to go and have a little dance. Because that's nice. Um, hang on. Slight issue with going over there. That's fine. Walked into the set or something. Right. Hang on. Robert. Come, come here. Oh, crikey. You disappeared for a second. Robert. Hello. Um, can you... Oh, hang on a minute. I've completely forgotten. What do we want him to do? Dancing. Okay. Um, might I dance this time? I favour it certainly. Yes. Okay. You can go and do some dancing. And then in the meantime, Thomas the hero. Now look at that. 
Robert is significantly better. Right, can you sing or act, please? Singing might be quite good. Um, might I be allowed to dance? No, you need to sing. Go and do some singing. Really? I thought I'd already proven my proficiency. No, you had not. You're not very good at singing. Go and do more singing, Thomas. You're the singing hero and you're not very good at it. So here we go. Let's come around this way just in case they need a bit of help and we'll see what we can do. It is very, very wonderful to look at. It's really nice. All these sort of lovely hand-drawn sort of bits and bobs all over the place. Stools and chairs and, you know, bits of weaponry and a crown and all that kind of stuff. It's really, really impressive. Right, let's just wait a second just to see if he needs help with anything. So how is it going? Singing of five. Thomas is going to go up to a singing of, and he's finished. Six. Okay, right. He's a bit rubbish as the hero, isn't he, Thomas? But I'm not making... I'm, on principle, I'm not making Robert the... Uh, Robert is significantly better, but I'm not making him the hero. Just just on principles of tea, really. Um. Okay, so maybe you could be really good at acting, Thomas. Could you do some good acting? Because you have an acting of six. Right, so um, talk to Thomas... And can you please do some acting? Um, let my magnificent visage grace a script. I'd love to hone my performance. Is that acting? That's a song. That's dance. Yeah, okay. So you go and do some acting. That would be nice. And then Robert. Um, go and do some singing, possibly. Um, is there more I ought to do? I have work. Uh, go and do some singing. Absolutely. There we go. So now they both have their, the, both have their jobs to do. They've both got their roles in the play itself. Uh, it's going to take a few seconds for you to sort that out, which is absolutely fine. So his singing is currently 21. What's it going to go up to when he's finished? Let's have a look. So time ticks down two and one and nothing and up to 27. Uh, whereas ah, Thomas's acting has gone up to 17. That is significantly better. But I think that's it now, isn't it? They have no more action points. So that is as good as they are going to be. Okay, right. We've trained them up as best we can. Now what do we do? What do we do now? Do we end the day? I'm, I'm not entirely sure. I think if we end the day, we'll go to the um, we'll go to the play, I imagine. Although we haven't got their costumes ready or anything. How do we give them a costume? Where's the costume department? Right, hang on a minute. Let's see if we can figure out how to actually give them costumes. Where have they gone? They are... Oh, no, hang on. They're over here. So they're through, they're in this little room here. Oh, this is the, this is like the drawing room. Oh, it looks very nice. Oh, it's got a lovely, comfortable sofa type thing. Um, and I'm very happy to see a teapot. See, see there, Robert. Um, okay, hang on then. So how do we give them the clothing? How do we do this? I imagine that will pop up in the sort of tutorial help thing as we get on with things. Let's go back over here, go to our blue door. And we will end the day. I think I've just walked into the... Oh, okay, hang on, I'm a bit stuck. Hang on, there we go. <laughs> Splendid. Right, run around this way. It's hard to run in this thing, all right? It's tricky. Right, let us end the day. So, showtime. The show's tonight. Check the bulletin board next to the office when you're ready. Okay, ah, right. That's over here. There we go. So, perform a spectacle. Oh, that means put on a play or whatever. Okay, right. So, we have no stage backdrop. And they're not wearing any kind of outfits of any kind and they've not got any equipment either okay good good this is this is going to go very well indeed oh no thomas oh this is really awful thomas has a minimum of seven requirement for singing he's only got six and there is a minimum of five for acting i think that is and he's got 17 oh no oh no do we need to do this for the sake of the theater do we need to say uh, hang on a minute. Hang on. Put them to nothing. Right, hang on. Let's have a look. So, Robert. Oh, Robert, you might get your own way here. You might get your own way. Oh, no, your acting is four. You're terrible at acting. Oh, okay. <laughs> right, we're just going to wing this then. It's fine. There we go. So, um, Robert, evil non-tea drinking Robert is our villain. And Thomas, who does drink tea, is our hero, although he's not very good at singing. And he needs to be a little bit better. Okay, do you know what? Let's start our show. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? Except everything. But let's start the show. Let's see what happens here. Because this could be fascinating, couldn't it? Good side. I've always been a virtuous man. My dark impulses will never exert control. Though I do wish to study them from time to time. Oh, this is his sort of good side. Okay, this is good. 
I assume his bad side is going to say something, is it? Is his bad side going to say something? Yes, there's the villainous evil. Oh no, hang on. The good side is still talking. Good side. However, in attempts to understand this evil nature, I have fed it with attention. I awake to evil deeds done in my name of late and grow concerned for my very soul. Oh my goodness me, this is all very dramatic indeed. I wonder how many people here. Oh, there's a bit of a fight. And the good side says, I only wish to understand my true nature, but I've given voices to desires which should never be acknowledged. To rectify this error, I must commit one last heinous sin. Okay, right, hang on. He's going to kill his negative side. Okay, <laughs> right. So we got ourselves, ah, oh, we got two and a half stars. We got two and a half stars. Now, yeah, we weren't wearing any kind of outfits because the game didn't sort of tell us to do that. Perhaps we could have gone and done that of our own accord. But um, yeah, I wasn't really sure what to do. But yeah, he wasn't wearing, they're not wearing the right attire. Okay, so um, Thomas got a green tick in acting, but not in singing. He was not quite good enough. Um, however, oh no, it's Thomas, sorry. Robert, however, was very good at singing and dancing. He absolutely smashed his role as the villain. He was very, very good. He didn't look the part. Uh, we had no backdrop. That's absolutely fine. Okay, so we earned some money. Oh, there we go. Quest earnings 50. So it is money that we're getting. Okay, right. Continue. Act two. As one man steps into the limelight with a plomb, the other finds himself mingling in the margins, shunted to a supporting role for his brother. Regardless, the theatre has found success with Josephine's modest production, and in doing so, it has drawn to her a few pairs of earnest hands. With the occasional show, she has now prospered enough to hire additional actors. Lord Charles Howard, lovely, joins them from England. Are we not in England? I kind of assumed we were in England, but okay, maybe not. His talents in acting merely a dalliance on his route through his life. Ma uh, Madame Madeleine Lequeur, once a rather famed name in Paris, has seen the potential in Josephine and offered her services as both an actress and a role model. She also brings with her a protégé, a young Lucy Ziani, who is a boundless well of enthusiasm. Oh my goodness me, there are loads of people. Okay, Act 2.1, complete one or more of the following, an encore. Okay, so complete an easy or harder play with at least three stars. The understudy, complete an easy or harder play with at least three stars and Madeline as support, and then complete an easy or harder play with at least four stars. Okay, that's fine. We'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. Oh, now we get to choose. Oh, this is, this is wonderful. This is wonderful. And we can spend a little bit of money on getting some new, some new scripts. Okay, no, this is, this is brilliant. This is absolutely fantastic. Okay, so the conundrum of Charles Pale. Charles Pale was murdered. Detective Bucket is sure to find the culprit. I'm tempted. I'm very tempted. The audience has low expectations. Cash out is minimal. One day to prepare. And the play belongs to Melodramatic. Okay. Um, it's Lee Guts Lee. What? Uh, an imp offers a prisoner a deal that is too good to be true. Is there a single way to escape its crushing debt? But will the prisoner find it in time? Okay. So average expectations. Cash out is average. Days to prepare to... The play belongs to burlesque. So there's three people in there. Or well, the consequence of honesty. Two friends both take on a new identity to escape the tremendous pressure of upper class society. When marriage is on the table for one, will the other stand by idly? Okay, this is hard. So audience has high expectations. Cash out is high. Days to prepare is three. This play belongs to well-made play. Let's go down the middle, shall we? As much as I would like to do the conundrum of Charles Pale. We've only got one day to do it, and yeah, you know, it's paying out minimal stuff. We can do a we can do a middling option. We can go down the I, I don't know what that means. It's Ligutsli. <laughs> that one there. We'll go down that, please. Oh, that's nice. Yes, we shall pick that one, please. Our next spectacle shall be It's Ligutsli. Okay, so now we can see our five actors down here, and we've got three people required in our next play. So what have we got? The captive needs to be good at acting. Okay, so who do we have that is very, very good at acting? Uh, we've got Thomas, who's good at acting. Uh, Madeline is also good at acting. We would like Madeline as support, however. So let's put Madeline as, I mean, the guard. Can Madeline be the guard? Because if we do that, that completes one of these goals, and then we get ourselves a little bit more money. So Madeline, singing and acting. Singing and acting. You're pretty good. You are pretty good at that. And yes, you need a support kind of clothing thing. Well, let's put Madeline in there for, oh, hang on, for now. There we go. So Madeline singing and acting. Okay, where's Madeline then? Let's go and try and find her and tell her to go and do, do that kind of stuff. Right, hang on a minute. 
So is Madeline, do we know what colour she is from this thing here? No, we do not. Okay, right, hang on a minute. Let's go and find Madeline. Is she over this way? Because somebody is here. Yes, there she is. Um, hang on a minute. Um, oh, I've lost, I've lost my curse. There it is. Talk to Madeline. Um, okay, so I'd like to have a dialogue with you about the path the theatre is on, if you'll allow it. Okay, tell me what's on your mind. You have managed a performance with minimal parts. You've done well, dear. I'm happy to assist you. I'm quite the few stories from my travels that would serve you well. The brothers... Well, they have their disagreements, but such silly squabbles mean nothing painted against the greater picture. Let's have a moment together after the day is done to address what you should do thereafter. Wow, everyone's just sort of crowding around over here. Okay, talk to Madeline. So we want Madeline to do singing and acting. So I'd recommend singing for today's work. Absolutely, yes. You go and do some singing, please. Even though you seem to have some problems in moving past me. There we go. Right, so she can go and sing. That's good. And then... We need... My cursor keeps disappearing. There we go. Um, then we've got ourselves... Yeah, the captive, who I would say is the main star. So somebody good at acting. Uh, you've got acting 14. You've got acting 10. You've got acting 17. You've got acting 4. So maybe not Robert. I'm thinking Thomas. So let's get Thomas in on this again. My mouse keeps going to the middle of the screen, which is all very odd. Right. Thomas, whereabouts are you? Let's see if we can find Thomas. Go and have a chat with him. I think he's all the way over here. Uh, let's run a little bit. Let's just get a wriggle on. Right. Okay. Thomas. Hello. How are you? Could you please do some acting? Um, practice your act instead. Because we're going to have you as an actor. Um, and then the imp. The imp needs singing, dancing and acting. Oh my goodness me. Right. Hang on a minute. Robert is good at singing and dancing. Could we make him good at acting? Hang on. What if we put Robert into that role? Singing and dancing are pink, but acting is red. So it's not enough yet. Um, that's not going to be good enough either for Lord Charles. So he does have a very good hat. Well done, Lord Charles. And Lucy. Lucy does not really have the dancing. Um, okay. Robert. Evil, non-tea drinking Robert. Can we find him and make him do some more acting? That would be nice. Right, hang on a minute. So, talk to Robert. Um, I prefer to sing. No, you must do some acting. Okay, there we go. That's good. Um, and then, yeah, we've got ourselves... What was the play? Burlesque. Now, it did say here a second. Hang on. Hang on. Where was that? There was something that said change the... There you go. Change the stage decor. Okay. So, selected backdrop. Can we change it? Can we, can we change this? Backdrop storage. We don't have backdrop storage yet. Okay, we clearly haven't got any of this stuff right now. Okay, no, that's fine. That's okay. We can live with that. We can absolutely live with that. Um, yeah, I just, it would be nice to get the stage sorted, wouldn't it? But never mind, we can't do that. Can we do outfits? Have we got ourselves like a little sort of changing room or something? Can we find one of those? Actually, whilst we're passing Madeline, Madeline, can you do some more acting, please? Um, yes, I want to act. Yes, absolutely. Go and practice your acting. That would be wonderful. Um, and then, yeah, if we could find the others as well. That would be very useful if we could find uh, both Thomas. Hang on a minute. Thomas and Robert. Hang on. I think, um, I think, is that Robert going? Oh, hang on. This way. Robert, hang on. It's really difficult to run in this. Please hold. Um, yeah, Robert. So Robert needs to work on his acting. So allow me to hone my acting. Yes, please. Absolutely. And then your brother... Um, who is going to be the captive, also needs to work on his acting. Everybody needs to be better actors, please. Right, there you go. Hello. Um, I have work for you. Uh, what would you like me to practice? Go and practice acting, please. Everybody just go and do acting stuff. That would be useful. Um, and then I think that's your action points done. Oh, hang on a minute. Somebody needs help. Um, whereabouts are you? The thing is, they don't appear on the map when they need help. I'm not entirely sure <laughs> where you are. Where are you, my good sir? I don't know where you are. Are you in here? Is this the acting room? Is this the acting room? I think it might be. Okay, hang on. Who needs help? I haven't got a, I haven't got a thing anymore. How do I talk to you? <laughs> um, I think I might have... Ah, resolve conflict. There we go. Uh, one of our stagehands insists they require this room for the moment. How will I practice under these conditions? Uh, you must work alongside them. Please ignore them. I must defer to technical demands. If you cannot work, then retire for the day. This will not do. I'll speak with them to insist you go undisturbed. Well, no. If the stagehands need to come in and do some stuff, although I wasn't aware we had stagehands, then they need to come in here. You've got to work alongside them, please. That's a bit gruff of you, but I suppose I can resume more important matters 
another time. Okay, wonderful. Right, what we do need to do is, you've used up all your action points, you've used yours, you've used yours, you haven't used yours, and whilst we're not using you in this performance, we might want you for some other point. Yeah, we might want you at some point in the future. So let's just actually get you, I mean, singing wouldn't go amiss, I don't think, would it? Singing would be okay if I can find where anybody is. Where is everybody? Oh my goodness me. Right, down here. Hang on a minute. There's a thing in the way. There we go. Right, Lord Charles. Hello. I'd like to have a chat with you about what's been occurring in this establishment of late. Okay, what's on your mind, my good sir? Ah, my good woman. Oh, thank you. Bowed. It has been a pleasure to join up with your company. I've yet to truly ingrain myself into the local populace, but imagine it will only be a matter of time before we are thick as thieves. After observing their respective performances, I would like to have a chat with the two brothers. We might have some common ground between us. Okay. Yes. Do do that then. Hang on a minute. Talk to Lord Charles again. Um, okay, so he wants to go and dance. I would rather you sang. Work on your song. And then you there. Hello, Lucy. Okay, yeah, let's have a chat with you. To enlist at such a pivotal moment, it is thrilling we... Oh, yeah, she's French, of course. Uh, you are at the precipice of repute. There'll be so many new and fresh adventures. I've procured a fresh rabbit foot already. Oh, though I should not broadcast that as such, I imagine. With Madam's guidance, I will be the best. No, not quite so aggrandizing, but I shall be offering you my best efforts. Okay, so what do you want you to go and practice? Dancing or acting, I would say. Okay, I have some work. Could you please go and do some dancing, perhaps? because that's your lowest stat. So yeah, there we go. You go and do some of that, please. And then when they're done, we'll just give them a couple more things to do. And then that will be done for the day. That will do. Oh, no. Right. Colonel, whatever his name is, you, you're having a bit of an issue. You're training in singing, which I think means that you're up here. I think this is the singing room, isn't it? Hello. Hi. Can I help with the conflict? A letter came for me today. A distant cousin requires my assistance if they were to visit, and I have some concerns regarding my calendar with the company. I mean, it's fine. You're not in this performance, so it's okay. Time with family will refresh uh, refresh you before the stage. Work swiftly, and you will be with them sooner. Have that relative join us for a time. You can manage them. Are you being asked to provide time? If you must leave, I will allow it. Okay, yeah. I mean, he can go, because he's not doing anything. So yeah, absolutely. I'm a distinguished man. Of course I can conceive the proper course for myself. Oh. Okay. <laughs> right, you are. Stroppy pants. Right, okay. Let's wait for him to finish singing. There we go. Right. Let's talk to you again. And how about dancing this time round? Um, I'd quite like to act. Uh, no, sharpen your footwork. I'd like to see him doing some dancing. And then where is, where is, uh, whatever her name is, Lucy? She looks like she's gone right down to the bottom. Hang on, let's go and try and acquire Lucy wherever she might be. Hang on. we it's very difficult to run in this thing still. Okay, hello, Lucy. Would you like to do some dancing? So she wants to sing, but no, improve your footwork, please. We want you to get your dancing skills up. And I think that's it. I think that's kind of it for the day. Once she's finished, once she's done, everybody's action points will have been expended, which is pretty good. That's good for us. And look at that got lots of lovely pink kind of values, which I think means that they are at the required level, except for Thomas, who needs to upgrade his acting just a little bit more because he's he's quite terrible, isn't he, Thomas? <laughs> his acting is 21. So hopefully we can get that increase tomorrow and then get one of his other skills up as well. Because, yeah, he's a bit of a one-trick pony at the moment. He's very good at acting, but he can't sing and he can't dance. Um, I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it will be fine. Right, so let's wait for thingamabob, Lucy to finish doing whatever it is that she's doing, and then I think that'll do. That will be it done for the day. In fact, I think she's already done whatever it was she was doing. So yeah, there we go. Let's go and end the day right now. And then when we come back tomorrow, what we'll do is we'll try and obviously we'll get everybody trained up again, but also we'll try and um, figure out if we can change their outfits. We can't change the set because we just tried that, but I wonder if we can put them in different clothes. I do not know. Uh, but right now, let us end the day. And yes, please, we shall retire for the day. Thank you very much indeed. Okay, so it's the next day. It says up here we have one day left. Does that mean we have a full day of doing stuff and then it's showtime? Or do we have one day remaining after this day? I think it's on this day, isn't it? However, just here is Thomas. Hello, Thomas. How are you? Right, so Thomas, you still need to be better at acting, please. Um, there you go. Let my magnificent visage grace the script. I'd like to hone my performance. Absolutely, yes. You go and do some more acting. Go and do some more acting and be very overdramatic with things. And then what we'll do is we shall just run around the place and find the other people. So where is Robert at the moment? Uh, we'll get Robert. Robert is amazing. 
Robert is by far the better actor and singer and dancer. He is wonderful. Uh, the only thing is that, uh, that of course, we don't like him because he doesn't like tea. I mean, possibly we should forget that. We should forget that possible prejudice there for the sake of the theatre or whatever. But uh, there we go. Ooh, well, that was quite convenient. We're just going by. Oh, goodness. I feel myself flitting toward a fainting fit. I fear I won't be able to persevere through the day. Okay, I'll fetch the smelling salts. We simply have no time for dilly-dallying. We can't have you dropping to the floor. Go and rest. Procure some food and drink. Or take a breath if you must. But the theatre needs you. You must continue your study. I kind of feel like we should go and get the smelling salts. Because, you know, that'll get him back uh, yeah, up to maximum efficiency. The only thing is, I don't know where they are. If that's where I'm needed, do I hope to return to my true calling? Okay. I mean, he's just finished. So how is he now? He's still not good enough at acting. Oh my goodness me, how good do you have to be at acting in this role? Um, okay, um, right, okay, more script stuff. Yes, absolutely, you go and do that. Right, let's find all of the other people that are involved. Let's find Robert, and we'll go and give Robert his orders, and we shall give uh, whoever the other person is, what's she called? Madeline, we'll give Madeline her orders as well. In fact, I think Robert is just passing by. Um, hello, right, I have work for you. I mean, Robert, you could just do whatever. You're not very good at acting. I mean, OK, so you're not very good. Your worst skill is acting, although it's very good. Um, yeah, practice acting, please. And then we'll go and find the other lady and give her a job as well. What do you want her to work on? Um, possibly, hang on, what does she need to actually do for the role itself? She needs to uh, singing and acting. Um, yeah, OK, we'll get you to uh, practice your singing, please. Um, yeah, I must practice dance. It's not important right now. I would rather you worked on singing. There we go. Right. So what we'll do is we'll just get everybody skilled up. We'll get everybody doing their sort of various bits of training and such like that they need to do. OK, so everybody has used up all their action points. So now everybody has trained up in something or other. I mean, we can see that Thomas is now pretty good at acting, but he's still being overshadowed by his brother. Robert is brilliant at everything. I mean, OK, his acting is 26, whereas Thomas's is 47. So Thomas is now very, very good at acting everything else little bit kind of dodgy whereas his brother is very much an all-rounder and we've gone into the actor equipment bits we've found the kind of dressing room but alas we have no items for them to wear so we can't dress them as support or a villain or a hero or whatever because we just don't have the clothing we just don't have the option to do that yet there's nothing here look there's no headwear there's no topwear there's no bottomwear so I don't quite know how to do this I don't know how to dress them yet. I'm hoping that when we do our next play, um, it'll allow us to do all of this kind of stuff. Why do we want to collect the busts? Is that some part, some sort of secret mission or something? I don't really know. Also, I now can't move. Hang on a minute. Let's go into dresser. Let's come out of dresser. Can we move again? Yes, we can. That's quite helpful. Um, I think we're done. I think we're done. So I don't think we can dress anybody else. I don't think that's going to happen. So I think now it's just a case of putting on the show. So let us perform our spectacle. Let's perform It's Lou Gutsley. So uh, yes, you can go into that role as the captive. You needed 36 acting. That's quite a lot. And you've got 47. OK, so you are the dashing hero. You're the captive. And then Robert here, his brother, is the imp. So very good at singing, very good at dancing, very good at the acting. And then Madeline is the guard. So minimum of 22 with regard to singing. And she's got 23 and uh, acting needed 19 she's got 38 uh, it's not time for the show yet is it not oh okay maybe we have another day oh okay right when well, everyone's everyone's used up all their action points haven't they yeah nobody can do anything else okay end the day oh okay there we go ah show tonight it tells us when there's a show tonight because it says it in big letters okay right so there is a show tonight everybody right let's go and find everybody again and let's just give them some more jobs right so let's have a chat with all these people hello oh hang on a minute I think we're stuck behind some sort of scenery. Um, yeah, OK, Lord Charles, what can we get you improving? How about, um, I mean, he wants to do some singing. Do you know what? Yeah, OK, that's good. And if they, you know, if we tell them to do what they want to do, they do it better. OK, Madeline, uh, that's you, isn't it? Could you do some singing? I propose dance practice. Do you know what? Yes, actually. Yes, why not? Get your dancing up. That could be useful. And then Lucy, what would you like to do? Um... Oh, OK. She's sort of saying, what do you want me to do? Um, OK, tell me about yourself. So Madame Lecouillet has been such an inspiration. Do you know of her history? It was such an honour to be selected to study with her. I simply had to accompany her when she came here. I'm so pleased to have done so. It has been such a gay adventure. OK, right. Hang on. Hang on. 
I have work for you. You are needed behind the scenes. I wonder if we put her behind the scenes, she can do some of the set dressing or whatever. You are needed behind the scenes. Give the outfits a touch of magic. The stage is a tad bare. Uh, we need more folk to know about production. Go out and sell tickets. Oh, this is one. I didn't know you could do this at all. This is amazing. Um, okay, the stage is a tad bare. Go to the workshop and help out. I can't do this. There are no ongoing projects. Okay, hang on then. Hang on. I have work. Um, oh, hang on. Behind the scenes, give the outfits a touch of magic. I can't do this. There are no ongoing projects. Okay, right. That must be a thing that we can't do. How about then? Um, I have work for you. Behind the scenes. Can you go out and sell some tickets? I shall begin practicing right away. Oh, okay. Right. So that just takes her out of circulation entirely, but we'll get more money for that. Okay. Well, that's very exciting. Okay, right. I'm happy with that. Ah, Thomas. Hello. Whilst you're here, Thomas, could you improve some of your other skills? Um, you're what you want to do singing. Yes, absolutely. Do singing because you're quite rubbish at it. So uh, yeah, yeah, you can be slightly less tone deaf. Right. Let's go and find everybody else and give them jobs. Okay. Everybody's action points are used up. I think it's now show time. So here we go. So again, we've not been able to do the set and we've not got any costumes. So we are going to lose some points on that, but hopefully everybody can be so impressed with the acting and singing and dancing that's on display that they will forget about the costumes and the set. So here we go. Perform the spectacle. So yeah, no stage and no clothing, which is a bit of a shame. But look at that. We've got some very good stats going on. They're all way above the minimum. So, okay, let's give this a go. Let's put on our burlesque performance of It's Ligutsli. Yes, please. Let us start the show. And hopefully we've got some more people coming in as well. Imp, you are trapped here to do magic for the king. Well, if you if you provide me the favours, I will provide you with Trixies. Okay, right. Trixies. Oh, look, there's the guard. She's just sort of standing there. There is a little bit of set dressing going on. It's some boxes. Oh, there's a sword. Imp, you owe me now for my Trixies. If you discover my name, that will break the contract. But otherwise, you owe me your firstborn. Oh, no. Oh no, what type of terrible situation have you got yourself into? Oh dear, being dragged away. Imp, no, 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 only the devil could have told you my name. Not fair. Okay, three stars, just. That's just what we needed. But there we go. So look, all the actual skills were great. It was just the stuff that we couldn't do. We can't do the set dressing and we can't do the, uh, can't do the clothing stuff quite yet. But there we go. We have ourselves a nice pile of money. So let's go on to the next day. So what have we got to do now? Act 2.2, complete one or more of the following. Break a leg, complete a medium or harder play with at least three stars, and then a medium or harder play with at least four stars with Charles as the villain, and complete a medium or harder play with at least four stars with Lucy as a hero. Okay, right, so Lucy as a hero and Charles as a villain. And now we're going to be able to put sort of costumes on people. I kind of feel like we should try that. Okay, so I'm thinking... We go on a medium one again. Let's go on a nice medium one. So my bleeding heart, despite being betrothed, a young noble finds love with another. Choices get made and hearts get broken. Okay, so two days to prepare. This play belongs to operetta. So I imagine there's going to be quite a bit of singing going on. Um, okay, do you know what? We'll go for that. We'll go for that because that one seems quite hard. That's a hard one to achieve. Let's go down this one. My bleeding heart it is. There we go. So we're going to have a knight, a young noble, and a sovereign. Okay, this sounds very exciting. So now, can we go... Ooh, what's in here? I don't think I've been in here before. A catalogue. Oh my goodness me. Here are all of the things that we can buy, everybody. Oh, I didn't know we could buy all these things. Look, there's loads of villain costumes and hero costumes. Right, hang on a minute. Hang on, what do we need? We need a hero... We need a villain and we need support. Okay, hang on then. We've got 1,150 money. Um, and that's a castle. That is a medieval antechamber. That's a castle-y type thing, which means that, I mean, that's something we want, isn't it? That's something we want. Uh, for the singing stars, we've got operettas. That's perfect. Yes, buy that. Absolutely. Come back tomorrow for new items. And let's buy, let's buy the frightening mask for the villain. Either that or the bluff and bluster costume wig. Let's buy let's buy this, a frightening mask, and then we'll buy a an uncommon steadfast coat. Okay. I mean when I look at that, I do kind of I do kind of think of, you know, David Tennant's doctor, but okay. Right, we'll buy that for two hundred of the monies. Okay. Right, this is exciting. So now if we go over here, can we start doing something with the set? 
So where were the things? They were over here, weren't they? There was like a set of sort of pulleys or something. There we go. Decor. Change the stage decor. Okay, so backdrop stage. Have we not got the backdrop? I thought we'd already just bought... I thought we literally just bought the backdrop. Okay. Maybe it hasn't arrived yet. Maybe we need to wait until tomorrow for it to arrive or something. It's being delivered or what have you. Let's just go and very quickly check the... Uh, check the... So the dressing room, the powder room, or whatever it's called. Let's go and have a nosy in here. So what can we do here? So Lucy, headwear, topwear, bottomwear. Yeah, there's nothing in here yet. Maybe that stuff needs to be delivered or whatever. Um, okay, right. So we want Charles as the villain because then we get more money. So let's just put him in that role right now and we'll just see what he needs. So he needs to be much better at singing. He's already got 40 in it. And then Lucy needs to be the hero. She needs to be better at everything. Okay, right. Bit of a challenge going on, everybody. Uh, and then we've got the Sovereign. Singing and acting. How about, how about Robert does that job? How about Robert has that particular role? So, uh, yeah, we'll give that to... Oh, hang on. No, we could give it to Thomas. And yeah, Robert doesn't like the... Uh, Robert doesn't like tea, does he? Sorry about that. Uh, right, hang on. Who's in here? Thomas. Can you be better at singing, please? Um, yeah, your voice calls for development. Okay, so you go and do that. Right, let's give everybody some jobs. Let's give everybody some jobs. Hello, Lucy. How are you? Um, you are... You have no action points left. Oh, okay. Why is that? Did I tell you to go and do something? Um, you're the knight. Oh, hang on. Why have you got no action points? I guess maybe because you went out sort of... Uh, Trying to sell the thing or whatever. Trying to sell tickets. Can't think of anything right now because something is happening. Oh, there's a tiny exclamation mark on the uh, on the screen. Okay, hang on. Run up here. Let's help you out. Resolve the conflict. By Jove, I adamantly refuse. I say protest. I will not dare let myself be attached to that horrid pulley. Listen to the sounds it makes. Okay, if you are nothing, uh, you are nothing if not gallant. Trust in your ability and the hands of your cohorts. Um, okay. Don't pen pressure. I'll find a more suitable display. Will you find it calming if I request it scrutinised? You can busy yourself with less vital things. Do you know what? Let's just try and play up to his strengths a bit. Let's say, oh yes, you're really good. If that's where I'm needed, but I hope to return to my true calling. Okay, right. So he seems okay with that. So hang on. So what are you again? You are, you need to do some more singing. Um, would you let me serenade? Yes, absolutely. Go and improve your singing. Right. So I think we need to wait until tomorrow for all of the other exciting things to appear. So let's just, you know, let's get everybody all sort of leveled up and such like. In fact, we might send her out and about to go and sell some tickets. That could be quite useful. And then everybody else can just go and, you know, develop their skills a little bit. Um, you want to do some singing? You need that. That's very handy. Yes, you go and do some singing. Right, everybody just sort of, you know, level up a bit, do some practicing. And I think that is everybody done for the day. So let us end the day. And then tomorrow we will see if various bits and bobs have arrived. If we've got ourselves, you know, set dressing and such like. That would be nice. Because I feel like we're sort of being let down a bit there with that. We need to sort of dress our sets a bit better. We've got a nice sort of woodland scene right now, which is okay. But if we get a nice medieval sort of theme, like a sort of bedchamber or whatever it was, that would be good. Right, change the decor, backdrop storage. Okay, okay. I'm not entirely sure how this how this bit works. I don't really know how that works. I thought we'd already bought some, some stage decor. Kind of struggling with that a little bit there. Um, yeah, change the decor, just doesn't do anything. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Right, okay, let's talk to Madeline. Are you involved in this? No, you are not. Uh, right, Madeline, um, become better at whatever you like. Uh, I have work for you. Oh, you're giving us the choice. Okay, go and do some dancing, please, Madeline. That would be lovely. Right, so let's go and just level everybody else up again a little bit. Let's see if we've done something yeah, terribly wrong. Have we done something really badly wrong in regard to the set and the sort of outfits we bought? Because we did buy some clothes. We bought some clothes, but I don't know where they are. We've paid money for them. I just can't find where they might be right now, which is all a bit unfortunate, isn't it? I don't quite know how we would put equipment on people and do stuff like that. Um, okay, never mind, never mind. Right, you there, Robert. Um, yeah, do some dancing, absolutely. Everybody just do what you like, it's all wonderful. It's a nice free place around here. Okay, Lucy, you need to be better at everything, I'm afraid. So, I have work for you. Um, what are you not quite as good at? You're not very good at acting. Okay, so, uh, let us strengthen your stage persona. Practice the act. And there we go. Right, so she can do some acting. 
that'll be absolutely fine. Right, let's just go and level everybody else up. And I will have a little look around for things. I'm still not entirely sure that we've uh, that we've set this up correctly in order to, you know, get the stage set up and what have you. It'd be nice if we could get that in. I mean, yeah, there's a catalogue. We have the catalogue here with various bits of clothing. We just can't seem to use them on anyone. We just can't do much with it, which is a little bit unfortunate. Okay, um, I mean, I'll keep looking around the place. Maybe there's something we need to, something we need to do. Maybe there's something we need to sort of specify somewhere else, which means that we can then identify those clothes or something. I'm not entirely sure. Do you know what? We'll keep looking around. Oh, now somebody needs my attention. They're a gazillion miles away. Hang on. Okay, everybody has used up their action points. The day can certainly end. Now it is showtime. So let's just have another very quick check just to make sure that you know, it didn't take a couple of days for that kind of massive big bit of stage stuff to arrive. Actually, whilst we're going past some people, can we tell you what to do? Um, okay, oh, hang on. He's given us the choice. Um, you can, you're very good at dancing. Okay, hang on a minute. I have work for you. Um, go and do some acting or something. Go and do that. Ah, and hang on a minute. We've got ourselves um, Thomas as well, who was a little bit stuck by the look of it. Robert, can you shift the out of the way? Can you move? I think we might have ourselves a little bit of a technical issue. Hang on, let's talk to you whilst we're here. Hello, Lord Charles. Um, acting, yeah, all right, crack on. You go and do some acting, that would be nice. Um, oh, hang on. Who did we just tell to do some stuff? Oh, hang on, it might have been him. Oh, hang on a minute, Robert. Um, you go and do some dancing. Right, absolutely. So everyone's you know, getting on with some stuff. People are doing nice things. Right, let's see now if we can dress the set. Nope. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Not to worry. Right, let's go back and talk to Lucy. I think we might have to switch Lucy out. We might have to get rid of Lucy. Oh, and there's people that need my help and I can't find where they are. And Lucy keeps running off. Lucy's very fast. Um, Yeah, okay. Do some singing. That's absolutely fine. The person's going to have to deal with that thing themselves. Uh, right, Madeline. Um, I have work for you. Uh, go and concentrate on your dancing. Absolutely. Go and have a little dance. That sounds nice. Okay, so Lucy is now proficient enough in singing for the role of the night, but not dancing or acting. And that's a shame because the show is tonight. So go and do some dance practice. Oh, hang on. What did you say? You can't do dance practice. Oh, somebody's already in there. Um, okay, do some acting then. Absolutely. Get one of these things up. But we might have to change that around. Lucy, you might not be able to do that. We might put, oh, hang on, hang on a minute, hang on. Let's put this back to, right, Lord Charles can stay as the noble, because that seems fine. Um, right, Lucy can't do it. Madeline is definitely not suitable. Thomas cannot. Robert can't either. Oh my goodness me, Robert, do you have any points left? Yes. Are you able to go and do some singing practice, Robert? Because that would be really super helpful. Robert, come back here. <laughs> Stop trying to evade me, Robert. Come back here. Hello, Robert. How are you? I have work for you. Um, go and do some singing, please. Because I don't think Lucy is going to cut it as the knight. So you might need to go in as the knight, I'm afraid, Robert. Um, and then we need a sovereign singing and acting. I mean, Thomas can do that. He's very, very good at that kind of thing. Um, okay, right. Let's just go and sort of uh, get everybody to do their final bits of Kind of bits of development and stuff and then we'll put the show on okay everybody's action points have been spent however we do not have anybody that can meet all of the requirements of the night i'm afraid so we've got ourselves uh, yeah lucy who can only do the singing bit and then we've got ourselves madeline who can do the acting bit and then we have robert who can do the dancing and the acting bit um maybe can lord charles do that is lord charles okay at that kind of thing okay lord charles can be the knight. Okay, right. A slight change round of things. Okay. The only thing is we're not going to get our money because the whole point is that we get ourselves Lord Charles as the villain. Ah, however, it does say complete a medium play with at least four stars with Charles as the villain. I don't think we're going to get four stars because we can't dress the set. I'm not entirely sure how we go about doing that. So that might cause a bit of a problem. So we'll have Lord Charles as the knight, the young noble, hang on, you're good at the Sovereign. That's good. And the young noble, somebody that's good at singing. Oh, botherations. We've got nobody that's good at singing. Right, hang on a minute. Can Thomas do that? Could Thomas... Right, Thomas is good at singing. So now the Sovereign, we need somebody for singing and acting. Ah, uh, we can't... We can't match all the skills up. We've not quite got it right. Um, okay, do you know what? Let's let Lucy come in. She didn't join in last time, did she? So yeah, what, Lucy, absolutely. You come in. I mean, I don't know if we're even going to get three stars. I don't know if we're going to get three stars for this. We'll give it a go. Hopefully, 
the strength of Lord Charles as the knight will be very good. But again, we can't dress him. I don't know how to do that. It doesn't seem to be immediately apparent. We go to the wardrobe, there's nothing there, even though we've bought some stuff. So I don't quite know how that works. Let's have one last little gasp effort. Let's get ourselves... Oh, oh, it's a, it's a hat. It's a wonderful hat. Can we buy the wonderful hat, please? So item bought, come back tomorrow for items. Okay, so we've bought a hat. We very obviously just bought a very lovely hat. Right, so can we go up here and put the hat upon somebody's head. Uh, Madeline, no. Lord Charles, I mean, it might suit you. But no, look, there's just nothing here. There is nothing here. So I don't know what's going on there. Never mind, never mind. We can't dress people. Maybe it's not in this version of the game or something. I don't know. I kind of think it's a finished game. But whatever the case, right, let's put on our show and we'll try and get three stars. We'll try and scrape through with three stars. Hopefully, just sort of entirely relying on the performance of Lord Charles. He's got to be spectacular. So no pressure, Lord Charles. But yeah, look at that. Minimum of 46 acting. Oh my goodness me. Um, okay, we'll give it a go. I suspect this might go all sorts of horribly, horribly wrong. So the knight says, ah, until you bought me a drink, I don't recognise your beauty, your grace. It's such a shame you are to be married. Oh, dear me. I want to see them in their proper outfits. That's a shame. Oh, some lovely boxes. Young noble, I must lie to my husband, but it is worth it to be with you, youthful knight. Let us hide our love so that I might not lose my wedded reputation. My goodness me, this is all very, very insalubrious indeed. Oh dear. Oh, that's not good. Sovereign, this is the price of your adulterous liaison. My partner, I fear no excuse for... No, you have also passed. How deadly. A broken heart. Two stars. Oh, dearie me. Yeah, we didn't get the acting point in there, which I don't imagine helped a great deal. And yes, we haven't figured out how to do the clothing or dress the set or whatever which is all very unfortunate. Now, what's going to happen now? Oh, it just takes us straight back to here. It just takes us back and says, okay, try again, please. Do you know what, though? I think we will finish things up for now with Melodramatica, but I've had a great time with this. It's been a lot of fun, and it looks amazing. I think the visuals on it are really, really striking. It's very, very pretty to look at. And do you know what? In terms of the gameplay, it works quite well. It's a shame that we haven't been able to figure out how to do the costumes and how to dress the set because I think that would have given us significant amounts of extra stars on our performances. So it's a little bit of a shame that we haven't been able to figure that out. I mean, I'm assuming that it's something that I've done wrong. I'm guessing that I've not done something, I've not set something. But I mean, from what I've done, it seems that we've kind of done the right stuff. But I assume that I've missed a step somewhere. But whatever the case, it's still been great fun. It's been a lot of fun to play. I hope you have enjoyed watching it too. And do you know what? For free, for free, it is very good indeed. I mean, this was made in 28 weeks. It's made in 28 weeks. It, it, it's staggering. That is amazing. So, uh, so yeah, very impressive. Very, very impressive indeed. And um, yeah, we'll finish up for now. But yeah, I think we can finish on a bit of a high. We've got our stars all trained up quite nicely. We have got some costumes. We have got some sets. So we'll just pretend that they've gone out and, you know, used those costumes and used the sets. And then our little theatre goes on to be a wonderful, amazing place. And great things happen here. And it becomes super famous and all that kind of fun stuff. So, uh, so yes, we'll imagine that everything goes very swimmingly. But right now, we shall wrap things up. Hopefully you have enjoyed this. If you have, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with all all the other bits and bobs that we get up to in the Geek Cupboard. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. She's still heartbroken. <laughs> She's still sick. Oh, Colleen, you're, it, this is not your day, is it? Sean Bozzini is going to defecate. How's the lounge looking? <laughs> Do you like the plants? I left them there, especially for you guys. <laughs> is there some sort of terrible apocalypse which I need to know about? He's just defecated in a bush. <laughs>